throw, 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 throw it up. Start twerking like Molly. Oh yeah, twerking like Molly. Don't pop it like Molly. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, with another Clash of Clans video. So right now we are in a live defensive replay, ladies and gentlemen. I figured I wanted to test out the new Inferno Towers and my single loan and maxed out mortar. And I wanted to see exactly how well it did against battle. So this Inferno Tower is already working. This guy's bringing a go wipe army. Town Hall 11, I guess they, he's getting rid of the witches already, figuring that they're no good. He's already used his Warden's Eternal Tome, and here comes my Clan Castle troops deploying. We have a Witch with one Wizard and the rest Archers. Let's see how well they defend. This P.E.K.K.A. is going to go after every single one of them, but he's not going to last. We have the Barbarian King and uh, Archer Queen working together. He may pick up the 50% here. It looks like he's really close. It's 47%, 48 King goes down 49% and he will pick up the one star, but it doesn't look like it's going to be a two star unless he can somehow pull a miracle. Did he just leave? Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. Well, that's good for me being that I'm in Legend League. I only lost two trophies. I can't complain with that. And I don't know. I mean, I guess he wanted to save his hero's uh, HP for another raid. But I want to admit to you guys really quick before I do that. Let me go on here and say say hi to YouTube because Bar has been trying to get on YouTube for the longest now. Say hi to YouTube Bar. <laughs> He's been waiting on this, so I just want to give him the opportunity to say hi. A lot of chat going on in the chat log here, but we're not here about that today. While we're waiting on his response, I just want to tell you guys I made a bonehead mistake I actually recorded uh, myself gymming the the Valkyries problem with that is I did not have my microphone on and I didn't have my microphone on so I couldn't really uh, post that video I guess so okay wow D why are we saying wow he's saying nice okay that's great okay so we'll come back to that let's go to my camp right now I'll show you exactly what I have trained up so I have three golems five Valkyries four archers 13 wizards six hogs and two witches also what i need to do right now is i need to request a max golem wizard archer this is like my standard um i guess request and poison okay so hopefully I can get that really quick and we're going to try to go into a raid and actually use these troops. Now the reason I'm using vaults and this is what I was trying to explain before I made that bonehead mistake. I really believe that the witches were nuked. They were nuked because they were just too overpowered. They really were. They were able to just pretty much overrun a base especially at Town Hall 10 and there's significant evidence of that being the fact that the Infernal Towers have gotten a boost. They target enemies faster. If you can think about the skeletons, they can over. Now the skeletons, it'd be a, a bigger problem for skeletons to overwhelm Infernal Towers. Um, they have also as well an, a new upgrade, so they have higher hit point damage. Also as well, there's evidence of it because we now have a level nine mortar. So it's just so many. Oh, and that, you know what? That's not even to top it off. To top it off. Now the Grand Warden, okay, I think they're saying hi. I should make a playlist for every war. Okay, I got a life, Lucy. Okay, that's great. So, I lost my train of thought right now. But, okay, we're going to get back on track. The Grand Warden. Okay, so the Grand Warden, his, his Aurora, if you want to call it, that surrounds the troops that give him that HP buff, has been slightly diminished meaning he can't cover that much area okay meaning he can't really protect those witches and those skeletons or whatever if they did you know decide to roam off from that his little circle of life giving in this birth okay whatever so now the vaults and the halls get an upgrade and i'm thinking that's kind of to counteract the new upgrades for the defenses so so far we have a wizard we have not gotten anything so this is what we're gonna do 
we're gonna take a break right here and when i get the troops i need we're gonna go into battle and we're gonna use some of these new troops yay we got a level seven archer and we're gonna see exactly how everything works and also we're gonna test out that poison spell theory as well because now the cc troops are supposed to scatter away from the poison spell if you drop it on them and your team or your troops are not on the assault so we'll be right back once i get a golem we'll get right into it and i'll explain everything as we go live okay see you guys in a little bit all righty ladies and gentlemen we are back with some more clash of clans we're back from our blur our break and we have scouted a base if you guys don't know in legend league it takes a pretty long time to find a base so i didn't want to really put you guys through that okay so this guy already has upgraded inferno towers all his heroes are up i'm pretty sure his clan castle is full so all i have to do right now is decide exactly how i want to come in this could result in a loss because i am using new these new troops for the first time but hey what the hell we're gonna go ahead and go for it let's go ahead and drop a couple earthquake spells here kind of weaken up that clan castle and we want to open up just create a big wide gap right there so as well what we're going to do is we're going to take a couple of these new hogs and kind of bait out that clan castle i think it is in range let's give it a shot let's try using two okay there we go we have a couple balloons and a dragon that comes out so with the new update that came out it says now point, uh, troops will flee from poison spell so let's go ahead and give it a shot even though this will probably create my doom and there you go they're flying away from the poison spell awesome well not, not really awesome for me right now because now i'm gonna have to deal with that dragon so let's go ahead and start off by dropping about three golems and then some wizards behind queen and warden let's go ahead and drop our clan castle golem the Eagle Artillery has now activated. It's already starting to fire off. Let's go ahead and release a couple witches. And then the Barbarian King. Let's use some wizards over here. Now let's go ahead and release the Valkyries. They're going to move in toward this section over here. That's not really where I needed them to go. Alright, here's a problem. Let's go ahead and enrage all these troops here. Let's calm that Infernal Tower down. He's doing a little bit too much. Go ahead and drop an earthquake spell there. Okay, we're looking good. Let's get some hogs to help out in this section over here. Let's use the Iron Fist ability. Okay, and Grand Warden time. Let's keep that Barbarian King alive. He is going after the Queen like an idiot and skipping right past that Town Hall, but that's okay. The Queen is going to pick it up. It looks like my hogs already went down. Let's go ahead and use the Queen's Royal cloak ability make her invisible for a little while longer take out a few more structures looks like they're going to go down ego artillery is still up i have two wizards in reserve two archers not going to be able to do much with that i'm gonna have to just walk away with one star better than losing so we're just going to take that one star and go we did pick up about seventy-eight thousand gold and a nice chunk of uh dark elixir there so and two trophies which you if you guys remember i just lost three trophies so I'm in a good I'm in a good position right now. One thing I failed to mention is the fact that I did upgrade one of my dark barracks and the bowler is now available. So let's take a peek. Let's take a look at what he is actually made of. He is not upgraded at all. He is level 1. So his damage per second is 65. His hit points is 320. His favorite target is any and he has he does area splash damage and he attacks ground only okay housing space is eight so same as the valkyrie i don't know let's go and look at this replay again really quick guys and let's just see exactly how much damage those valkyries did because i wasn't really able to pay attention on what happened okay so i use earthquake spells we remember that let's go ahead four times speed really quick and here comes a hard rider to help bait out that clan castle of dragon balloons there. We're going to test out the poison spell. They fly over. Okay, so here comes the jump spells. Let's slow it down. And let's see exactly what those Valkyries did. One time speed here. Here comes the witches. And as you can see, I don't even know. I don't even think the witches lasted very long at all. Let's see here. Okay, so here come the Valkyries. Let's focus on these, these gals really quick. Looks like they just disappeared kind of in a mist. I don't know. Okay, here they are. 
their rage spell right there they're gonna take out that wizard tower they are moving rather quickly i will say that and here they go they move toward the center they take out the builder's hut they're still alive here but they go down but i mean i would say they they cleared out a rather large a good percentage of the base to allow that king to kind of move toward the middle it wasn't you know everyone else's fault the king decided to run way over here to chase the queen when he could have finished the town hall but hey that's the barbarian king that's what he does and yeah so next time we'll have to check out the hogs let's go ahead and exit this replay next time we have to check out the hogs and see exactly how effective that they were but i just want to share that a little bit of the new update with you guys the new troops and how they work and and just how they look in battle how they fare in battle and i don't know i'm i'm pretty impressed with the valkyries um the hogs are pretty tough but in a town hall 11 we're gonna need a new strategy where we can effective effectively use hogs and valkyries along with the the, the grand warden because he's the newest hero and i believe his hp buffing ability may be able to help those troops out so with that said we're gonna go ahead and cut this video here ladies and gentlemen let's take a peek at the chat log one more time and say bye to YouTube. I should put say say bye to YouTube. All right, hopefully we get a couple of responses here. I don't know if anybody posted any replays or anything. No, they didn't. Just a lot, a lot of chit chat going on down there. No one speaking, so we're gonna go ahead and just end this video here. I appreciate every single one of you stopping by, checking out the channel, sharing a little bit of time with me. Make sure if you enjoyed everything you've seen here today, you smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, tell a friend, and most of all, importantly, drop a comment. Tell me about what you think about the update, the new troops, and and what do you what are your future thoughts on on future updates, or what do you think is gonna happen? Are the Valkyries gonna get? nerf like the witches or the hogs you know name it and we'll talk about it so i'll see you guys all in the next clash of clans video